Hi friends, Benita with Mitten in the Mitten. Thought I would give you a garden update because it's been a while. Um, I'll probably wait a few days to post the video because I just posted that riveting video about my haircut. Um, but right now, uh, I've been picking beans every day and the tomatoes are starting to ripen. I usually get a nice collection of beans every day and then I just collect them all week and then freeze them on the weekend. Um, the butternut squash, the plants are doing pretty good. They've grown all, grown all the way up the trellis and they've gone all the way around the trellis now. Um, but the butternut squash kind of dry up and fall off. However, I do have one really nice one right there. And then another one that seems to be doing okay right there. Um, I did see a baby. Oh, there's one up there. Uh, right there. But when they're that size, there's no telling what's going to happen. So, um, yeah. The tomatoes are ripening. I like to pick them when they're pretty red. Um, a few have fallen off, so I've had to pick them or bring them in sooner. Um, these are massive. I'm pretty sure my mom wants to steal my tomatoes um, because she asked what I'm going to do with them. Um, but she can't have them until I have processed enough. So I'm sure I will have some to share but I am not ready to do that yet. So as you can see, I have a lot of green ones yet. Um, so I'm sure there will be plenty for me to share with my mother. Um, the plants grew really tall. There's a whole bunch more big ones. So um, yeah, we've had a little rain. We really need more rain for these tomatoes. Um, they got so tall, I had to add a giant stake and try to tie them to the stake because, um, yeah, they're kind of out of control. Those of you who um, watch my channel a lot might remember that I covered up my kale with this kind of very fine netting that lets sun and rain in, but not, um, but the little white moths can't lay their eggs on the kale. And I kept it covered for probably the first couple of months. And then I uncovered it last month just because I wanted it to breathe. And it made a huge difference. The kale next to my house that I did not cover up is all lacy because it's all eaten up. And this kale is beautiful. I have not done a good job of cutting it and eating it because there's been other things I wanted to eat. But this morning I thought it's finally time. So I brought the two biggest bowls in my house and I cut as much of the good kale as I could. And you certainly can't tell how big these bowls are, but um, there's a lot of kale. So I'm gonna wash it and blanch it and freeze it. Um, and it will be good in quiche this winter. So um, once I'm done, there will it will be much smaller than this. The process for kale is very complicated. I'm sure other people have opinions about how to do it, but first I take the ribs off, then I wash it, then I chop it up, then I put it in boiling water for a minute or two, and then I plunge it in ice water, and then it looks like that, and then I will spin it in the spinner again and freeze it. I decided to freeze it on a tray so there won't be one big gloppy mess when I put it in the Ziploc bag. So we'll see how that goes. I ended up with five quart bags of kale for the winter. And a haircut update. I was still getting used to it. I did clip it on the one side. So we'll see what happens this next week. But um, I'm glad to have all that hair gone. Maybe I need it even shorter at the top. We'll, we'll see. Thanks for all your support and the kind things you said about my haircut because it's a big change and I still have to figure it out.